Lions Legion's Bank. Thank you for joining us for another Feature Friday. This month, we are focusing on those fun and educational activities that are going on right here in our own communities. So today, I am at the Cook Family Children's Museum of Evansville, or more commonly known as CMOs. And I have with me today, Clay Prindle, who is with their marketing department. And so Clay, when my grandson was little, we brought him here many times and he played and said to run and have fun and do all those hands-on activities. So can you tell us a little bit about what's going on with CMOs and what, you know, what are the fun, fun things people can yeah. do? Yeah, um, so we've been around for 15 years. Uh, it actually opened up in 2006. Uh, we have been constantly changing out galleries and exhibits. So over the course of 15 years, if you've been once, uh, next time you come, it's going to be a little different. Uh, if people haven't been here within the last four to five years, we've actually opened up our entire third floor to new galleries and new exhibits. Mm -hmm. uh, we are planning for the future and hoping that post pandemic that we can kind of come out on top of everything and also provide a great resource for families uh, to come here, play, experiment, and just learn together. Um, so is it too late for families to sign up for summer camps? Uh, it is not too late for uh, children and their families to sign up for summer camps. We have been filling up very quickly, but our last two weeks are open. Uh, there is a theme to those two weeks. It's called SEMO Olympics. So we're kind of, you know, capitalizing on what's happening right now with the Olympics, especially with the uh, local celebrity Lily King uh, going to be there. Uh, but we're going to be having a full two weeks of SEMO Olympics here at the museum. So as uh, parents and grandparents are watching this and they want to come out and they want to bring their children, what are some things they need to know before they come and what are your operating hours and where are you located? Uh, so we are located in downtown Evansville, 5th Street. Um, it's, admission is $10 per person. If you'd like to become a member, it starts off at $105 and that's for the entire year. We also offer a Museums for All program where it's $1 admission for families that have an EBT card. So all they have to do is show their EBT card or their SNAP benefits card to the front desk. And it's $1 per person uh, for admission for that family. Okay, well great. That's, uh, that sounds like a good deal for families that are looking for some fun and educational activities that they can do right here. Uh, so, do you have some other exciting news that you wanted to talk about? Absolutely. So on June 1st, we opened up our Fifth Street Boardwalk, which is an outdoor exhibit. It's one of the first outdoor exhibits we've had. It was so popular last year um, that we decided to bring it back. It is experiencing the beach without leaving Evansville and Indiana. Uh, you, there's a place for sand castles. Uh, there's a beach umbrellas. There's chairs for people to relax under. We also have a sprinkler out there because we realize it does get really warm out there. Uh, and it's in the sun, so we want to keep people cool. Uh, and that is actually absolutely free to the public. It's open while we're open as well, which is Tuesday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The beach is closed on Sundays though, because we rent it out for private birthdays or private uh, parties. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for letting us come in and uh, look at your beautiful museum. And thank you guys for joining us for another Feature Friday. And remember that if you are shopping local to always hashtag Legions Loves Local or The Buck Stops Local. Thanks everyone and have a great weekend.